M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here on the ICOM ID E880. Now this was an early D-Star radio and when it came out many of us didn't really know how D-Star worked. These days we use DR mode. Now there is a DR mode in this radio but it was the very early type. You still have repeater 1, repeater 2, my call sign, your call sign, all that kind of stuff. D-Star pretty much works in the same way as far as I can see. But when this radio came out, most of us didn't really know what we were doing. We had to refer to the manual, and even then it was very confusing. But it's a very nice radio. I've just got it turned on and uh, on the frequency of my all-star note in analog. So I'll just quickly show you a brief overview of the button. So you've got volume, squelch, and then you've got sub-menus here and the main menu. So VFO, megahertz, memory core, DR, CS, low, monitor. You've got menu... This button here, it changes the frequency, but it also you can also push this button as well, and it has different functions. Then we've got the memory button here, memory right, and if we hold these buttons down, we get further functions. It's quite a neat little package. It's very nice. The, the head unit is removable, and I do have the, uh, the separation cable for it as well. And just turn it off. Push the button here. And then it just comes off like so and then you have the connector for the separation here and i've got the i've got the cable here and you can have a short or a long cable it looks like a six pin cable to me very nice head unit good quality there's your magnetic connectors and then they just go on like so you saw that either way around and then the idea is that then if you want you can screw this screw this plate somewhere. I do have a stand as well here and then there's no screw in it and there's no screw in the middle so I'm guessing the way the uh, the seller, because I did buy this used, he put it onto the plate and then the plate went onto the back unit like so. So that's okay. We'll work out that. These plates, do you know what? I've, had, I've bought these brand new before. They're like £30. Uh, it, that looks like the one that I would use on my um, fusion radio, not ICOM. So I don't think this is a fusion stand, but I will make use of it. But for now, when we're making these videos, we're going to learn this radio because I want to. I feel that if I learn how to use an early D Star radio, it will it will ref teach me and refresh me how D Star actually works. Now I do have a I do have a basic understanding. There's an on off button here, by the way. I can't. You can get your call sign in there. I do have a basic understanding. Of course I do. I've used a lot of D-Star radios. But to be honest with you, I allow D-Star to do all the work. Sorry, I allow DR mode to do all the work for me. So we're going to, whilst learning this particular radio, we are going to learn more about D-Star and how it works together. And it does come with a nice remote control microphone, which I really do value. It just makes it a lot easier. And I like it. It's a nice microphone. I had this on one of my... I think it was my 2725. So thanks for watching my channel. I'm going to make quite a few videos on, well, as you know, on each radio that I get. I do like to delve deep and really learn about how these radios work and how beautiful that screen is. It does change to orange and yellow, but I really like it in green. And it's, it's, it's a lovely little unit. And in the car, if I, if I decide to put this in the car, put the base unit under the seat it's going to be it's not going to take up much room it's going to look fantastic isn't it a uh, nice microphone to, as well where i can just i don't have to reach down and push all the buttons on the radio here's my 52 which i've had a while now and it's got a leather case on it and look we're in dr mode come out of dr mode and then we've got memory vfo and as you know you can program D dv channels without using memory mode or dr mode uh, you can, you just got to put in the CS settings, your menu, go to set, see if we can find it, call sign, there it is there, call sign settings, CQ to Q, repeater one, repeater two, and then my call sign. Now my understanding is, and this is what we're going to learn, is that repeater one, so for example, if I transmit, this radio will go to repeater one, let's say it's my local repeater, but then it needs to know where it's going to go after that, so repeater one is going in. And repeater two is where it's going to go um, once it once it leaves that repeater, and that's what you decide here. 
uh, if it's a hot spot repeater two tends to be blank doesn't it because you're just going into your hot spot and it's and it's m0 fxb and then you're connecting up here uh, to reflector one you know once you're connected then you can uh, go into just normal you know, use reflector and, and talk so bye for now thanks for watching my channel 73 all the best